After its second installment relocated to the dangerous jungles of Africa, Ubisoft's Far Cry franchise has returned to a familiar tropical island paradise. However, this time around, taking a page from stellar TV shows like Breaking Bad, Far Cry 3 focuses in on the depraved, larger-than-life characters that inhabit this seemingly tranquil setting. You're Jason, an average guy looking for an ordinary vacation, until he and his friends find themselves stranded on an island that's anything but ordinary. Part hardcore shooter, part open-world adventure, and part psychological thriller, the producers at Ubisoft Montreal are promising to take intense combat and mix it with exploration the likes of which the series hasn't seen. The game's designers are building gameplay around the colorful cast of characters rather than repeating simple routine shoot 'em up encounters. That means if you run across the twisted, aggressive Voss, the memorable villain that made his debut at E3 2011, expect to face overwhelming odds and an intense firefight. But what if you need something from the delightfully vacuous Dr. Earnhardt? Part genius, part drug addict, the island's resident health expert might be willing to help you, but only if you can fuel his desires by acquiring a rare psychedelic mushroom. It's here that Far Cry 3 stands apart from its predecessors. What would seem to be a simple fetch quest turns into anything but simple or typical. After diving into the ocean to find an underwater tunnel, you find yourself in a cave filled with intoxicating spores that proceed to warp reality around you. Stumbling through a colorful, ever-changing landscape, you finally make your way to your goal. No guns, no combat, no guards protecting something seemingly trivial. Far Cry 3 wants to be different, and it wants its bizarre cast to demonstrate that difference. Ubisoft pledges its learning from some of the mistakes of Far Cry 2 as well. The last installment of the franchise was ambitious in scope, but faltered in providing players enough to do in the vast African jungle. It forced players into trekking across vast expanses, even though it technically had a fast travel system. Expect these things to change, as the game's director and designer swore they were focused on letting players do what they wanted and how they wanted. The jungle will have plenty to do. XP and currency systems will play heavily into giving players reason and reward to venture off the beaten path. Similarly, Far Cry 3 will have some sort of yet-to-be-named system that will result in changes to the world. Taking the fight to Voss and his henchmen will mean his power and presence in the world decreases. Lastly, quick travel is another focus of the designers. If you want to move around the island quickly, you can. If you want to get in a jeep and drive around, you can do that too. There is plenty we don't know about Far Cry 3, and we haven't been able to get our hands on the game just yet. Still, the game is shaping up to be another bold entry for the franchise, and an example of a first-person shooter that's trying to do things a little differently. Keep tuning into IGN.com for more.